National night as parents, students, and teachers all respond to possible school closures in Farmington Public Schools. Tonight was the first chance to hold a public forum, and Action News was there. Simon Shaquette, live in Farmington Hills, with the latest on what happened tonight. Simon? Stephen, so many people have a vested interest in the future of Farmington Public Schools, and they came here today to make sure their voices were heard. Inside a packed auditorium at Harrison High School, parents, teachers, and students come to sound off. They know decreasing dollars and enrollment are a reality, but they don't want to see Harrison or either of the two other high schools have to close. I'm worried that bringing an entire high school to two different schools would mean less opportunities for all students, less room on competitive teams, less chance for scholarships, and less of a smaller community feeling. As many as six schools in the Farmington District could possibly be closed or repurposed with changes beginning as soon as a year from now. But parents tonight sound particularly troubled by the fact most closures could occur north of 11 Mile. Pulling all the schools out of one side of town will kill us. And then you're going to close more schools. And it's going to happen. If you look at this side of the city, I don't know why you're picking on this side of the city. <laughs> this has been really upsetting for us. We bought our house because of the schools. We bought that house because the school was in our neighborhood. If that, if that school closes, our property values decrease. Besides Harrison High, other schools possibly impacted could be Beachview Elementary, High Meadow Common Campus, Kenbrook Elementary, Warner Upper Elementary, and Dunkel Middle School. The district could also relocate its central offices, transportation center, and other facilities. For this senior high school football star from Harrison, it comes down to history, tradition, and having a place to come back to and visit. There's too much history at this school to close it down. Um, we, uh, we have 13 state championships in football since uh, 1980. And we have great scholars and uh, our art departments, our dance um, program is probably one of the best in the state. You got a lot of guys, you're talking about funches, and a lot, of, a lot of guys that may want to come back to their school, to their alma mater, and you know, watch a game or help out or just be a part of this. I mean, it is a such thing as Hawk Pride. Now, there are several more of these public forums that are planned. We put all the information on our website, WXYZ.com. Live in Farmington Hills, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Back to you. All right, tough decisions to be made for sure. We'll new it